What's going on guys? It's Snowballer and welcome back to part two. This is part two of the um, creating an MVP player with a random number generator. Um, part one, if you did not watch it, go watch it. We created this player, Stacey O'Brien. He had a pretty solid start to his career. Again, we only did four seasons, so go watch that before you watch this one. I should leave a card link in the upper right hand corner. So go check that video out real quick and then come back and watch this one. All right, but today we need to figure out what position our player is going to be. To start off with, he's going to be a point guard. Interesting, and this player is already a point guard. I don't know why this keeps happening, but I keep getting um, players at their position that we got them at. All right, next up we need to figure out his age, and again, we did 19 to 22 for a starting age 21 now this is the different part about this versus last one is I'm using a different random number generator this one I can gen generate a different amount of numbers every time that's how we are going to decide the overalls or the attributes so we will get 18 offensive 18 numbers for our offensive attributes to start off with and same thing for defense and everything uh, next up, we need to figure out his height. So the lowest I want, or the shortest I want him to be able to be, is 5'10", which is 70 inches, and the tallest I want him to be able to be is 6'6", which is um, 78 inches. So 70 to 78, one number. What do we get? 70, man. Why? Oh wait. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. So 5'10", and then. Weight, let's see, 225, he is only 510, and the lowest would be 180, I guess. And he is going to be 181 pounds. So 181. Let's see what his wingspan is going to be from a scale of 0 to 100. We get 44. Not great. Um, so short, doesn't have long arms. Same thing for shoulder width 85 he does have broad shoulders but he is um short and doesn't have long arms so not a great start to this build either um and then one other thing that's going to be different about this versus the last one is um i'm going to go minimum of 60 because i tried this once before and it did not work out very well if we do 25 because a majority of them will be below 50 or at least below 60 and we don't want that so yeah we're not gonna do that all right uh, we do need peak start and peak end age peak start age is going to be 20 what did I usually do for that 24 I think maybe maybe not and then 30 for the max 28 all right we can we can deal with that and then peak end will be 29 to 33 is what I've been using 33 it's gonna be 31. All right, we can deal with that. And then, yeah, I don't need anything else there. We can go to the attributes. And there are 18 offensive, I believe. And then way less defensive. Um, so we're gonna go 60 for the minimum. And then 99 for the maximum. I'm going to lower all of his attributes down to 25. I'll see you guys when I am done with that. All right, so I dropped all of his attributes down to 25 and I decided I'm going to use 45 rather than 60. I feel like 60 is pretty high. So we're going to use 45 and there are 18 offensive, I hope, 18 offensive attributes and then there are uh, five defensive, eight athleticism and then four mental and then intangible will be on its own and then um, potential will be on its own. So starting off with offense, we get some pretty solid a, a solid amount of 80 plus five six 80 pluses not bad we're going to start with um making this guy a playmaker so ball handling needs to be pretty high pass accuracy pass iq and uh, pass vision need to be high so pass accuracy is going to be a 93 pass iq is going to be a 92 Uh, I want this guy to be able to shoot threes, so we're going to put his three up to a 90, or actually we're going to put his three up to an 88, free throw up to a 94, okay, so now we're down to 
87 is the highest that we can do. We're gonna put that on shot IQ actually, and then 85 will be pass vision. So 87 shot IQ, 85 pass vision. Uh, you get how this works. Um, I'm gonna do the rest off camera quick and then I will see you guys once I'm done. All right, so here's what our offense looks like. Not an insane driving layup, 74. We don't care about post stuff, so that's low. Drop out, only a 62. Shot close and mid-range shot are mid to high 60 or mid to high 50s. Uh, 88 three is really nice. He's gonna be taking a ton of threes. It's like only threes or he's passing the ball. 94 free throw, nice, but his drop out is only a 62. Uh, ball handling is only a 79, which isn't great. Pass IQ is a 92, pass accuracy a 93, offensive rebound 54. Um, shot IQ 87, pass vision 85, and hand 65. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get five for defense. Um, hopefully we can get a nice group for defense. All right, so we get 95, 94, 86, 85, 46. That's insane. All right, we're starting off with a 95 perimeter defense. Obviously we have to put the highest on perimeter defense for a 5'10 guard. Steal, 94, without a doubt. He may not have long arms, but he is going to steal the ball. Um, rebounding, we're going 86. And then our guy doesn't need to be a good interior defender, so we're gonna go block 85. Because if he can get a few blocks, like, you know, if he can get a, even a block a game at 5'10", that's going to be really, really nice. And then interior defense is gonna be 46, uh, because I don't think that really matters. I think stats is more so what matters in the game of 2K. But either way, um, now we need eight for the athleticism. All right, not terrible. Um, 92, 88, 87, 81. Okay, so he's going to be kind of quick. 87 speed, I think, is what we're going to do. 81 acceleration. We're going to go 88 speed with ball. We're going to go 92 lateral quickness. Then vertical is going to be 70 because we're going to save that 76 for stamina. Uh, so vert's a 70. Stamina is a 76 uh, because we do need him playing quite a bit of the game. We're going to do 47 for hustle and strength is going to be a 66. All right, that's actually not too bad. He's got solid um, D or athleticism. And then we need four for mental. Hopefully we can get something nice for offensive consistency and defensive consistency. We get an 85, 82, 65, 61. 85 is going offensive consistency. 82 will be defensive consistency. Um, 65 will be pass perception and 61 will be um, help defensive IQ. Help defense IQ, 61, not bad. This is actually working out pretty well so far. Now we need one number for intangibles. Uh, we really don't care what this is. It's just gonna change the overall. 47 K okay, not terrible um what is this player's overall gonna be I think that's all we need to do for this guy he's a 76 I think being 510 hurts him a little bit here but we can't really do much about it so the lowest potential the reason we did that is the lowest potential he can have is a 76 the highest is at 99 we get a 94 that's really nice to have 94 potential that's awesome. Um, and then I think we're done with this player. I'm going to mess around with his tendencies and I'll see you guys once I am done creating this player completely. All right, so Bledsoe ended up getting drafted the first pick of the seventh round to the Chicago Bulls. 5'10", RJ Bledsoe is a 76 overall with zero badges currently. All right, so let's see who the uh, Chicago Bulls have to pair alongside um, their future star in RJ Bledsoe. They got Giannis. They got Giannis, Christian Wood, Josh Giddy, Al Horford, Dylan Brooks, DeAnthony Melton, RJ Bledsoe. RJ Bledsoe is currently the best point guard on the team. Um, it's only him and Jordan McLaughlin, so he should be starting. Um, Let's go ahead and take control of that team, but I don't want any um, controls over the team, actually. Let's see if I can do that real quick. All right, so Bledsoe is currently starting for this team. He's getting 33 minutes a game from Billy Donovan, which is great. Donovan only plays nine players. 
which means there is no backup point guard for this team. Um, their backup point guard is going to be DeAnthony Melton and Josh Giddy. Um, now this is unfortunate. Josh Giddy is on this team because Josh Giddy is a good playmaker. Um, at least a pretty solid playmaker. Six and a half assists per game is pretty good. Um, he did average 3.2 turnovers per game his rookie year, which is still a two um, assist to turnover ratio, which is solid, but it's nothing spectacular, especially when you're considering there are guys like Tyus Jones who get like seven, seven to one for Tyus Jones. It's absolutely insane what he does, but aside from him, most people are only getting around two. Some guys less, some guys more. It is how it is, so you can't really complain about it. But yeah, this team is going to be probably pretty good. It's got Giannis, um, but aside from him, it's got Al Horford. Um, Christian Wood is the second best player on this team. Josh Giddy and RJ Bledsoe. Uh, not a ton of defense here. Christian Wood, Josh Giddy being on the team, but Dylan Brooks, uh, Giannis, RJ Bledsoe, Al Horford, Anthony Melton are all pretty good defenders. Some better than the others, but either way, let's see what RJ Bledsoe can do in his first career game against the Miami Heat here, who has Nikola Jokic. Okay, he had a triple double, but Giannis himself had 20 points, 14 rebounds, two steals, and two blocks. RJ Bledsoe has had two blocks in his first career game as a 5'10 point guard who doesn't have a crazy wingspan. 14 points, six rebounds, nine assists. One for seven from three isn't great, but. Let's see what he can do in game two. 10 points, four rebounds, three assists. Game three, we lose again. Uh, this time, four points, five rebounds, two assists, two steals and a block, one for 12 from the field. I need to um, make sure that I had, I did change his tendencies real quick. All right, so I did change and save his tendencies. He's just not very good. Good. As he puts up 17 points and 18 rebounds as a point guard. 18 rebounds, shot 50% from three this game. He's only shooting 31% from the field and 28% from three on the season. Hopefully he can pr improve there, but I will see you guys at the end of the season with hopefully a Rookie of the Year trophy. All right, so we're here at the end of the season and Nikola Jokic averaged a triple-double with 24.5 points, 13.5 rebounds, 11.5 assists to win MVP. He is with the Miami Heat, and we did get Rookie of the Year, averaging 14.5 points, almost 7 rebounds, 7.5 assists, almost 2 steals, and a block and a half from a point guard. That's insane, but only shot about 39% from the field. 39% from 3 is really good, and then 98% from the free throw line is amazing. Um, just not insanely efficient. Uh, he did have a plus-minus of plus 2.5. How good were we, I wonder? Um, we ended up with a winning record, it looks like. Yes, 40 nine and 43 or 49 and 33 so almost a 50 win team kevin love six man rudy gobert uh deep poi cam johnson most improved jason kidd and tyler jameson was exa executive of the year if you did not watch last video again go do that right now but spoiler alert that guy that we created in last video i forgot his name o'brien was it ricky o'brien something like that did not win rookie of the year he didn't win Rookie of the Year. This guy did. RJ Bledsoe was already better than Ricky O'Brien. Plus, he got a defensive first team nod and an all rookie first team nod, obviously, as he ended up winning Rookie of the Year. We are the three seed playing against the Knicks. Not important who's on this team, but I'll show you anyway. It's Kyle Lowry going up against RJ Bledsoe. Uh, they got LeBron. They got Bradley Beal, they got the sixth man of the year in Kevin Love, and they got Nikola Jokic. Interesting. All right, so we're just going to simulate this, see if we can take it around. We do um, simulate the rest of the or the rounds. Now we're going up against Kyrie, DeJounte Murray, uh, Jared Vanderbilt, Harrison Barnes, Brooke Lopez, Terry Rozier. Okay, that's an okay team, I guess. Um, simulate round. We end up losing in six. Okay. Um, and that team that I said was just okay ended up making the finals. They're going up against Devin Booker and the Trailblazers, and they ended up winning the uh -huh, finals. Wow, so the team I said was okay ended up winning the finals. Kyrie was the finals MVP. All right, year one went pretty solid, honestly, all things considered. 
let's see how YouTube goes. I need to make sure I reject all this stuff real quick though. Let's go straight to player progression to see how much better our player got from a 76 overall. He was starting, got 33 minutes per game at the start of the season. I don't know what he ended up at, um, but he is up to an 81. Whoops, he's up to an 81 overall. Uh, Josh Gady's up to an 85. So this team is hopefully going to be good. Giannis is down to an 96. Goes down one, but that's fine. All right, so year two wasn't the year. Jokic wins MVP again, I believe. Yes, again, averaging another triple-double. 15 rebounds this time. Elgin Hodges, auto-generated rookie of the year. Zubak, sixth man of the year. Uh, Robert Williams, three blocks and over a steal. DPOY, 13 rebounds as well. I'm sure a lot of those were defensive. Yes, nine of them were. Chumo Kiki, most improved, averaging nine points, four and a half rebounds. A steal and a half and half a block. Definitely deserving. Um, the Thunder head coach wins coach of the year. They went 56 and 26. And then the Mavs GM wins uh, executive of the year. They went 55 and 27. We did not make all NBA first team or second team or third team. We did make all defensive first team, which is good. Good to see. Um, Giannis, all defensive second team. All right. We ended up with the three seed, a record of a record of 48 and 34. And what did we average on the year? 17 and a half, seven and a half, and 8.7, 1.7 steals and 1.4 blocks. Pretty similar uh, defensive numbers to last year. Way better efficiently, efficiency wise, 47% uh, from the field versus 39%. 45% from three versus 39%. Uh, three more points per, a uh, little over half a rebound more per, and then about an assist more per, so improvement. Definitely improvement, um, and he is a homegrown talent as well. He's from Illinois, evidently, or went to college in Illinois. Year four, we should be able to build a team around him that can maybe win the, um, win him the MVP. We ended up winning in the first round against that Philadelphia team that ended up winning the title last year, which means we're winning the title, right? That's how it works. Something like that. Um, we end up. Winning the second round as well against the Wizard, Wizards, Wizards who have Jordan McLaughlin, who was on the Bulls last year before he got traded to Brooklyn, evidently. Um, they also had Zach Levine, MPJ, Pascal Siakam, Chet Holmgren. That's a pretty good team. Um, now we're going up against the Hornets who have Luka, Jalen Green. Luka and Jalen Green were together in a different um, my NBA thing that I was doing, and they were a dynamic duo i mean seriously they were really good really really good together um we end up beating them wow Giannis wins finals mvp or conference finals mvp and we were facing the mavericks in the finals ben simmons buddy healed jimmy butler zeke Naji is starting on a finals team you love to see it and then Jarrett allen really good team Really good team. Can we beat them? We don't. We end up losing in seven. Butler wins finals MVP. Okay. He had a really good year too. Let's see what improvements he made. He's up to a an 86 overall. Up from an 81 to an 86. Uh, that's really nice. Josh Giddy is still better than him though. He's an 88. And the unfortunate thing is that Giannis is such a good playmaker from the power forward position he averaged six and a half last year and Josh Giddy is such a good playmaker from the shooting guard position he averaged six and a half last, half last year and then RJ just gets the rest of them he averaged eight and a half assists last year so these three guys are averaging a ton of assists combined um but it would definitely be nice to consolidate more to um RJ we have Tobias Harris on this team now interesting interesting uh let's see what we could do year three. RJ is again going to be the starting small forward of the team. Or small forward. Point guard. Definitely small, but definitely not forward. How does year three start off? Started off with a win and Giannis doing most of the work. Josh Giddy had a near triple-double. But 
Bledsoe only three points, seven rebounds, seven assists, and two steals. Followed out in 23 minutes. Thought we got past that, but I guess not. All right, auto-generated dude, one rookie of the year. Six man goes to Markel Fultz. Chet Holmgren wins DPOY. Uh, he also won most improved. Thunder goes 61 and 21, coach of the year. Uh, Magic go 54, 28, exec of the year. And the MVP, the Mellow Ball. Another young rookie point guard, but not the one that we were hoping would win it. He averaged 26 and a half points, seven and a half rebounds, and 12, 13 almost assists per. Crazy stats. Um, Lamelo Monzo, first team, NBA first team um, teammates. Interesting. Giannis, NBA first team. Uh, no NBA second team for us. RJ did make third team. He made third team alongside Shea. Uh, he made all defensive first team alongside Giannis. Um, and then we don't have, we won't have any rookie of the year or our rookie members, of course. Uh, we ended up going a solid 51 and 31, five games out from first in the East. RJ ended up averaging 18 and a half points, eight rebounds, 10 and a half assists per, about two steals and over a block and a half this time. 45% from fields slightly down, 43% from three is also down, and then 47% from, from the free throw line is up slightly, uh, but it's not enough. 10 and a half assists though is really, really good. I'm really happy with that. Um, Giddy, seven and a half, and Giannis, six and a half. So we did have quite a few assists there. Um, did we end up with the most assists per in the league? Um, we did by about two over two assists per. Um, really, really happy with that. We averaged about seven more assists than the average, which is really nice. And we ended up with the three C bear going up again against the Sixers again in the first round. This time they don't have um DeJounte Murray, instead, Terry Rozier is starting, and Tyus Jones is coming off the bench. All right, so not important, but we do end up sweeping in round one, going up against the MVP of LaMelo Ball and the Magic in round two. They have LaMelo, Benedict, Matherin, Kessler, Edwards, Jabari Smith Jr., Devonta Sabonis, and Nikola Jokic. We end up sweeping them as well. We are going up against Brooklyn, who has Eldon Hodges, Cade Cunningham, Nazir Little, Jared Vanderbilt, Yusuf Nurkic, Darius Baisley. And Clay Thompson. We end up losing in five. Uh, Cade and Lonzo are facing off in the finals, and Cade and the Nets end up winning it. All right, so that's three years down, which means it is now time for me to take control. Um, so I will be um, taking control after free agency. I will not be doing free agency signings or anything like that but I will be making trades after. And I'm probably gonna have to trade Giannis if I wanna win MVP with RJ, um, just because Giannis is a 96 overall and he's taking too much away from RJ. Josh Giddy is probably gonna have to be traded as well. RJ's up to an 89 overall though, but he's still the third best player only on this team. Um, so yeah, I will be making some trades definitely to um, hopefully still be a solid team but to give RJ more better stats so that he can end up winning MVP. All right, I guess Giannis is going to be staying on the team, but we are going to have to trade Josh Giddy. Um, he just averages too much of everything. Uh, DeAndre Aiden, Jaron Jackson Jr. Probably not either of them guys. Maybe Jaron Jackson Jr. This would be interesting. Um, Andrew Wiggins, no. Desmond Bain, no, Jordan Poole, Tyler Hero, Jalen Brown, Demonte Sabonis. I'm not seeing anything that's really going to help us a ton. Here's something. Robert Williams is an 88 overall. We could get him. So let's do this one. Robert Williams and we get Colin Sexton. Um, Sexton doesn't look like he's a great playmaker in this game. Two and a half assists per isn't great. So maybe we can get him and hopefully it won't hurt uh, RJ's playmaking numbers too much. Yeah, we're gonna bring in Lou Dort, it looks like. Um, 
We also brought in Kennedy Chandler, who we do not want on the team. He's probably going to be too good of a playmaker to have. Jonathan Isaac, he can be my backup power forward, I guess. That's fine. Now our roster is looking pretty solid. We got um, defensively, we got Lou Dort, Giannis, Robert Williams, Jonathan Isaac. Yeah, defensively, we got some guys. We don't have a ton of playmakers, so hopefully this will be the year RJ can really shine. All right, we're at the All-Star Draft, and I got some good news and some bad news. We do have an All-Star starter, but that's the good news. But the bad news is it's Giannis and not RJ Bledsoe. Bledsoe did end up making it. Um, currently, he is averaging 27 points, 9 rebounds, and 13 and a half assists. Also, two steals and a block and a half should be enough to win you MVP. It really should. But you got Luka, who's averaging 31, 10, and 11 versus your, uh, what was it, 27, 9, and 13 and a half. It's going to be close. Um, is there any way to make this team any better? Who's here that's taking too many shots? Colin Sexton, but I feel like we kind of need him. Giannis, but he's staying. There's not really anybody. That, nothing that we can really do here. Um, so I guess this is going to be the team that we rock with and just hopefully he can end up winning the MVP. All right, rookie of the year was Don Hurley, auto-generated dude, obviously. Six man, also an auto-generated dude, Cody Gray, okay. Chet Holmgren won defensive player of the year, averaging three and a half blocks plus steals, and 10.2 defensive rebounds, really good year. Most improved goes to RJ Bledsoe, 25 and a half points, nine rebounds, 13.3 assists, two steals, a block and a half. Shooting 46.5% from the field, 42.5% from three, and 97.5% from the line. Coach of the year goes to Jamal Mosley. Um, the Magic were 60 and 22, and then um, is this us? Because I can't, I can't click on, I can't get a staff card. So maybe that's us. But drum roll, please, for the MVP. It was RJ Bledsoe, and I am going to leave. The part in where we ended the season in here to prove that I did not override the player into this so I'll leave that in there just to prove that he did end up winning it oops he did end up winning it on his own whatever well I, I obviously helped by giving him the pieces that he needed but I didn't just give him the MVP all NBA first team Obviously, he ended up winning MVP. He should get All-NBA first team. All-Rookie first team. Nice. And, yeah. Him and Giannis are a deadly duo. I mean, two All-NBA first team members were also all defensive first team members. And we're going up against the Washington Wizards. Uh, they got Zach Levine, Herb Jones, Aaron Gordon, Chet Holmgren. And then, you know our team. We end up losing in six. Not that big of a deal. We did end up completing the challenge of creating a random number generated um, player to win an MVP. The Pelicans ended up winning the finals and KD was your finals MVP. But RJ Bledsoe was your regular season MVP and that's all that matters. So if you guys did enjoy this video, which I'm hoping you did because we did complete the challenge and I did not think we actually would. Um, we did complete the challenge. So please leave a like for that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It only takes a couple of seconds. It's completely free and it makes a massive difference. I would appreciate it a ton if you could just go do that right now. And other than that, that's going to be for me. It's been Snowballer, and I'm out.